She was insistent. She was adamant. She kept telling me the doctor did something wrong. I'm telling you, the doctor did something wrong. Would you like to learn what this is about? Come join me as I share with you this great information. Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury trial attorney practicing law here in the state of New York. My voice is a little bit hoarse. We have a change of weather here in New York, so hopefully in a few days it's going to improve. But I want to get out this great information to you right now because I think it's important. I'm on the phone with a woman who believes she has a valid medical malpractice case, and she keeps insisting that she believes the doctor did something wrong. And I'm explaining to her what we need to prove in order to show that there's a valid case. We have to show, number one, that there's wrongdoing. We have to show that the wrongdoing caused injury. And we have to show that the injury is significant or permanent. And all three of these things must be confirmed by a doctor who has either treated her or reviewed all of her records. She tells me about what she believes was done wrong. And I say, okay, well, what injury did you suffer as a result of that? And she goes off on a wild tangent and never gets back to that. So I direct it back. I said, let me ask you, what injuries do you have as a direct result of whatever was done wrong to you? And still, she can't answer the question. She keeps coming back to, the doctor did something wrong. I'm telling you, they did. I said, I'm sure, according to your opinion, that they did do something wrong. But I need to know whether that wrongdoing was responsible for any physical injuries that you suffered. She couldn't give me an answer. And then I said, do you have any physical injuries? Do you have anything that you can tell me about as a result of whatever was done wrong? She couldn't do it. It was as if there was total silence on the phone. I said, do you have any significant injury or disability because of whatever was done wrong? And the answer ultimately that I was able to get from her was no. So I had to tell her that even if she believes something was done wrong, we can't proceed forward. Why? Because we have to have all three elements necessary in order to prove a valid case. That's known as making out a prima facie case. In legal terms, that just means we have all the elements necessary. That there was wrongdoing, the wrongdoing caused injury, and the injury is significant or permanent and that it's all confirmed by a medical doctor. So here, even though she was adamant and insistent that something was done wrong, without the connection to an injury and without the injury being significant or permanently disabling, there was nothing I could do to help her. So why do I share this quick information with you? I share it with you just to give you an insight and an understanding into what goes on into the litigation and evaluation process in a medical malpractice case here in the state of New York. Chances are you have questions of your own about your own matter. And if you do, and your matter happened here in New York, what I encourage you to do is pick up the phone and call me. I can answer your legal questions. I answer legal questions like yours every single day and I welcome your call. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at lawmed10 at yahoo.com. I'm Jerry Oginski here in New York. Have a wonderful day.